420 हो जाएं सावधान अब शुरू हुआ एक नया अभियान कोई भी कहीं से घुमा सकता है ये नंबर 1811 4000 टोल में हो गड़बड़ और दाम भी हो बढ़कर या किसी तरह के और गड़बड़ तो घुमाइए ये नंबर 1811-4000 यही कंज्यूमर हेल्पलाइन Oh, now to our top story in India 360, the testing of colas. What methodology is being followed in the testing of colas? The health ministry today said that the health minister never said that colas are safe. All he said was that the methodology followed by the Center for Science and Environment in determining pesticides and colas was faulty. Health Minister Anwar Niramadas told CNN and IBN further that he would file a defamation case against the NGO's director, Sunita Narayan, if she continued to question the health ministry's intention. Sunita Narayan of the CSC has been going in front of the cameras and saying uh, some allegations about the health ministry and the health minister and uh, it's very unfortunate of her and uh, if an uh, issue continues this we are going to file a defamation case. So the question we're asking tonight, how are colas tested for pesticides and is there a uniform method followed? Narendra Nag finds out how CSE found the pesticides in colas in the first place. The Center for Science and Environment is saying there are pesticides in your favorite cola. The government is telling you there aren't. Here's how CSE found the pesticides in the first place. The CSE went and bought 500 ml cola bottles, 57 of them from across the country. Three samples were taken from each bottle and these were then put through a process that removed the water, sugar and caffeine. Leaving behind everything else that makes a cola. These highly concentrated samples were then injected into these. They're called gas chromatographs and they're the modern chemist's favorite tool with detectors that can tell what any mixture is made up of. In these readings, each spike represents a particular compound, in this case, pesticides. Now the question is, can these readings be wrong? Once you inject the sample, it is an automated process and the result comes out uh, through, through the equipment and computer attached to it. So there is no question about anything wrong in the results. It doesn't really matter which part of the world these tests are carried out or who's carrying them out. Okay. The process remains pretty much the same. The only thing that can change are the sizes of the samples and the samples themselves. CSE says their tests are comprehensive and their findings will stand up to scientific scrutiny and that it's time for the government to wake up and smell the roses. We ourselves had tested both raw groundwater as well as their product and we are very clear that the pesticides are coming from groundwater. The, content, the point is that they have to clean it up. For everything the government has found wrong with the CSE report, the CSE have an answer. The only question that really remains to be asked now is why the government doesn't want regulations to be introduced for everything, not just colas, but for also things like portable water. In New Delhi, Narendra Nag. So the health minister is saying the CSE's tests are faulty and the question we're asking, can cola tests be trusted? try and answer this question tonight is Sunita Narayan, Director, Center for Science and Environment. We also have Shriram Khanna, he is Chairman, Consumer Voice, joining us right here in our studio. We also have Ramesh Chenithala, State Congress President and Member of the pa Joint Parliamentary Committee for Soft Drinks and he joins us from Trivandrum. Sunita Narayan, straight across to you. Uh, the Health Minister has said that he did not say colas are safe. All he said was that your methodology is faulty, you haven't followed a balanced approach and your data is inconclusive. He will also file a defamation case against you if you continue to imply that he is a uh, mouthpiece for big business or uh, anything like that. The point is, instead of a ding-dong battle with the government, why don't you and the government come to a common laboratory, get your samples, let the government get its samples, have a common test and simply arrive at a set of common uh, uh, results. But Sagarika, that was exactly what that was done last time.
And uh, Mr. Chenithala is there and he will endorse this that when the Joint Parliamentary Committee was set up, it was set up precisely for the government to investigate our methodology, our testing procedure, what we do, how we do it. And this was gone through by government's top scientists. Everybody who is absolutely the best in this business took a very careful microscopic view of our work and said that yes, we were fine. So I think I agree with you in that, that we need to rise above it. I am, however, very surprised that the minister believes it is me who is making these allegations against him. I think the whole world is making these allegations against him. And I, and, and I hope that the minister will take it up with the cola companies then. Ramesh Chanithala, answer that very pertinent question. You were actually on the Joint Parliamentary Committee of 2004, which upheld the findings of the Center for Science and Environment, and you actually at that stage directed the government to set up standards for safety in soft drinks. Now your own government, two years later, is completely reversing what the JPC did in 2004. No, no, exactly what Sunita Narayan is, uh, said is correct because uh, our JPC had gone into the details and their methodology, their testing ability of CSC had been verified uh, microscopically by our committee, elaborately by our committee and we had found that uh, her apprehensions are correct, their findings are correct and we requested the government of India to set up a, uh, certain standards for the soft drinks in our country and to formulate a comprehensive food law for our country. I think that the chairman of the committee is the food minister. Uh, the time has come for him to take up this issue with the government and set up the safety standards for the soft drinks and to enact a law, a comprehensive law for the food standards in our country. But why has the government done a U-turn? It's your government. Your, your, you were part That's of that point. committee, now your own government has done a U-turn and said that there's no need for, uh, for safety standards. And my request to Mr. Ramdas to go into the details of the JPC findings and uh, discuss with Mr. Sarah Pawar, if needed, they can call Sunita Narayan also, because this affects the millions and millions of the people of our, our country and it should be uh, thoroughly discussed. And if there are any apprehensions to the health ministry, they should go into the details of right. the JPC. So a request and there, there should be a joint meeting. Right. So a request there from and you. There should be a joint meet. There should be there should be a joint meeting with the CSE and go into the details of this matter. It's not a question of the prestige of anybody. It's a question right. of the health of the, uh, the people of our country. So you're requesting the health minister to read the findings of the JPC, collaborate with Sunita Naran, and come up with a set of standards to ensure public health. Shriram Khanna, the consumer is suffering at the end of the day. There seems to be chaos all across India. Punjab says soft drinks are fine. Kerala has banned it completely. There's a partial ban in Karnataka. Where, who does the consumer trust? Uh, let me put it like this. Colas are not Sanjeevni booty that everybody must have them, otherwise their health will be jeopardized. The WHO has clearly stated consumption of carbonated drinks, particularly by young people, is bad for health, whether it has pesticide levels high or low. So for the public at large, the choice is very clear. You have soft drinks in every street. Every state of India has unique soft drinks manufactured in our kitchens. So what I would go and say is, until the mud settles down and the word comes out clearly from something can be fully trusted, don't drink these things. There's enough Nimbupani, Narial Pani, squashes and juices. So, heavens will not fall if you don't have colas for a month or two. So, that's the advice you're that's giving consumers the advice we at the are moment. giving to consumers all over don't India. Don't drink colas. If the health minister wants to take another few months after the last three years to build a standard, please do so. Get the findings, publish them. If we like them, if we believe them, we'll, we'll come back to colas. So, I am only saying to Sunita Narayan and to the health minister, please take your time. The public of India I will not die without colas. Have Nimbupani, have Nariyal Pani, have Lassi and have so many drinks that Indian fruits offer you. You go to any market, you will have hundreds of drinks. So there's a wide choice, the consumer is happy, let him be a little more healthy. If you feel like it, once in a month, once in a week, have a cola.
Right. No harm done. Well, wise words there from Mr. Shiram Khanna. He's a consumer activist. He knows knows a lot about consumer products, and he's saying for the moment, don't drink cola. Stick to nimbu pani. In fact, we might remind you that on a CNN IBN survey on dietary habits, we found that only 15% of Indians actually do drink cola. So even that 15% perhaps can stop. Short break at this point. We'll hear more from our panelists when we come back. Before we go, take a look at some viewer comments we have on IBNLive.com. We're discussing whether testing of colas is reliable. Should the public drink or not drink colas? Confusion prevails on whether or not we can drink colas. The Union Health Ministry is saying colas may be all right. Testing procedures of the CSC may be faulty. But state governments led by Kerala are still insisting on their regional variations of cola bans. Here's a report on the politics of colas. The left has come out strongly against the government on the cola issue. It says that the government is defending the MNCs. The left now says that uniform standards should be adopted in this issue. The Karnataka government, which has enforced a ban on sale of colas in educational institutions and government hospitals, has decided that the fizz is just not good enough, notwithstanding the thumbs up from the central government. I am going, uh, our Karnataka labs uh, given report, already given report, in uh, cola and uh, Miranda, thumbs up all the... Uh, pesticides is above the level. Okay. That's why we have banned in our hospitals and colleges. Karnataka's southern neighbour, Kerala, where there is a complete ban on sale and production, too has decided to continue with the ban. Government has already taken a decision. And this decision, the companies are challenging the court. But, interestingly, the court has refused to uh, order a stay as requested by the company. They are going to the merits of the case. Very good. No further decision is required. We are going to fight them in the court. Madhya Pradesh has also come down heavily on the UPA for backing the cola giants. The BGP-led government, however, ducked the issue of banning colas. In the nature of the way, these people are playing in the hands of multinational companies. And for their complete health. The health ministry's report found acceptance in Punjab, where the Congress is ruling. Well, I do, I'm not for it. Therefore, Punjab is not banned. And we are not banning it. As various states grapple with the issue of banning colas, Coca-Cola has welcomed the central government's stand on the CSC report. With bureau inputs, Arunodhe Mukherjee. Let's now go straight across to our panelists, Sunita Narayan, Shriram Khanna and Ramesh Janithala. Sunita Narayan, uh, the discourse of ideology is inevitably entering into this debate. The anti-MNC stance that some of the state governments are taking. Uh, would you take this opportunity to perhaps reassure the Indian public that yours is not an ideological position but simply a position for a cleaner India and that you're campaigning equally for groundwater, for, uh, against milk that contains pesticides, against vegetables that contain pesticides, just for a cleaner India? Absolutely, Sagrika, we made that very clear that we are not against any multinationals, we are for regulations. I think the two points I would like to tell people through your channel is one, if the health minister is now saying that he did not give them a clean chit, then he's clearly saying that he is not saying the colas are safe to drink. And let us be very clear that if he is still saying that our report is wrong, I'm prepared to give him all the information, as we've always said so. But I think the aim of his government must be to make the standards for colas as fast as possible. But the bottom line that I want to say is that he is saying that the colas are not safe. And if companies are today going to public and saying that they are safe and the government has vindicated their stand, then the health minister must file a case against the companies. He must file a defamation suit against the companies. Right. Not De against me. Defamation suit against the companies and not against you. Ramesh Chenithala, uh, the B Bureau of Indian Standards has finalized a standard, but they still haven't notified it. Why have they not notified it, given the fact that the JPC upheld the CSE's findings? No, I am also surprised to note that uh, they are, why they are, not, uh, they are not published. Because the JPC had given the report. 
the government has examined it in elaborately. So the time has come for a uh, for notification. And you should, the interesting part is that certain state governments are banning, certain state governments are not banning. Here itself, Kerala is banning, Bengal is not banning. Bengal is welcoming. So the le whatever the left parties are saying, they are not sincere to that. The question is whether the central government will set up a st st standards for the soft drinks in our country. The basic point there... The, the time has come for that. The central government must set up standards for beverages. Shriram Khanna, yes. uh, is the, what is the image of the Indian consumer we're getting from this uh, controversy? Is the Indian consumer being seen as aware or is the Indian consumer being seen as hysterical, being driven this way and that? See, most multinational companies, national companies, directors selling consumer products, take the Indian consumer for a moron. But let me tell, tell you and tell the companies that the India, Indian consumer is very smart. The moment he sees some smoke, he knows there is fire. And he will hold his hand. He will exercise informed choice. And today you have so many alternatives available to soft drinks. There are hundreds of drinks available in the cities of India. Every state has a regional variation from the coconut water in Kerala to the so Pani Puri. If we stop drinking cola, the Indian consumer will be seen as a very aware and clever very consumer. Very smart consumer. Because he will be saving money. He will be improving his health. Even without pesticides, the colas are not good for health. Many American campuses do not allow sales of, of colas on their campuses. Right. It's an enlightened decision. Young people should stay away from colas. Right, so the enlightened consumer does not consume colas. Right, well that's it unfortunately on this discussion on testing cola. Thanks very much to all our panelists for joining us. Sunita Narayan, Ramesh Chanithala, Shriram Khanna, thanks very much indeed. Pesticides in colas are present also in water, in milk, in vegetables and perhaps the government needs to develop a spirit of partnership and launch an all-out clean India campaign instead of petty quarrels with individual NGOs.